I wanted to explain about gun salute. General Ogola is going to receive a 19 gun salute. We have heard of 21 gun salute. We have heard of 19 and so on and so forth. Now the question is, why 19? Why 21? Why gun salute? I want to explain it to a person, a lay person, a person with no military background, to explain it. First of all, let us start with, with the word salute. Salute is greeting. Salute is greeting. The simplest salute ever known is kusalimiana. Kusalimiana, greeting each other. That is salutation. You'll find... When you are giving a speech in public, you mention people. You start uh, with the highest person, going that way, up to the end, and then you say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is salutation. By extending your hand to somebody, you are saluting that person. But then, there are occasions when you cannot, salute, you cannot greet everybody. So you just say, uh, the, you start with the highest person, the president, the cabinet minister, whatever, whatever, you come, you come. Then you finish off by saying, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That is considered that you have saluted them, or you have greeted them. Why did the human race find greetings to be very important? You'll find that apart from cases of people who are left-handed, most of our things we do with our right hand. Most of the things we do, we do it with the right hand. You beat somebody with the right hand. You write a letter with the right hand. You do everything. The left hand is only there to assist or do minor. The left hand is the subsidiary hand and the right hand is the principal hand. That is what we assume. Now you find that when you, you greet somebody, either verbally or even by hand, especially by hand, it shows that... Uh, you are extending, you are showing that person that you uh, intend, you don't intend any ill move, mo motive about to the person and you even show that uh, you, the hand that is supposed to hit that person or anything, you're extending it and the person is holding it so you cannot go and maybe hit the person. That is, the basic, uh, the basic salutation is verbal. Blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the basic uh, salutation. The second salutation is that one of extending the hand. And even when you extend by hand, there is something else that you do if you respect that person beyond a, a normal person. You find that some people, my Luhia people have that among other people. You greet somebody and then extend another hand on top of that. The, the left hand you extend on top of that. One. Or you greet the person, and then the left hand is held at your elbow. That is to show the person more respect than then just a normal greeting. If you are from Sudan, you greet that person. After greeting the person, you hold that person's chest. You hold that person's heart to show that 
you love that person, you respect that person. When you have a weapon, a rungu, a club that is, or anything, and you're saluting somebody, you take that, if, you, you know when you have it on your right hand, it shows that you can harm that person or anything. So, you take your weapon, which is a club or anything, you place it on your left hand, and the right hand you greet that person. Now, when it comes to guns, you see, a club or a rungu is a weapon just like a gun. But you see, if you have, if you have a, a club, you, you hold it on the left. You know, holding the club on the left is you're showing the other person that you cannot harm that person. And then you greet their hand. And if you have a sword, that is why you see a, a person with a sword kissing the sword. And you see, you kiss the sword. Kissing is a sign of love. And then you move the sword away from that person. You place it. You place it down. Although, militarily they say you don't look at the, at the sword. But you see, you're placing it down there, showing that you are moving it away. You have kissed the sword, and uh, you have placed it. So you are showing the person that uh, the sword cannot be used against that person. The gun. The next weapon I think is the gun. There are several guns. Small arms, which are pistols and revolvers. Then from pistols, we have uh, small, uh, small rifles, such, such as SMG, submachine gun. Then we have rifles. Then from rifles, we, have, we go all the way to cannons, which, which throw bombs. What happens is this, when you're saluting using a pistol, of course you place it in a pistol hoister, that one salute normally. If you have a gun, let's say a submachine gun, you hold the submachine gun with your left hand and salute using the right hand. Now the gun being held by left hand shows that you cannot use it against the person you're doing. And then you salute, showing that you have respect for that person. I want to say that when you're saluting somebody, it is a form of a greeting. Now from submachine gun, we go to rifles. Rifles have three, three different ways of salutation. You can stand at at attention, and you hold your rifle to your waist tightly. The second one is there are four. The second one is that the rifle is at your elbow, and you extend your left hand across the the the, the, the rifle. You just hit it and then come back to attention. The next one. Is, which is rarely used, is and, and I'm sure 90% of those people who are in disciplined forces now <laughs> may even be hearing it the same way civilians are having, is what we call slope arm. You have a rifle that you are holding it like a, a figure four. Uh, you hold it, you extend your hand in front of you, you hold the rifle, and the rifle rests on your left shoulder. Then you extend your hand, you extend your right hand and then slap the you slap the the rifle you salute you slap this way and come back. that one is called slop arm 90% of serving police or so, uh, security personnel are not aware of that then the la the last one for a gun is uh, present arm this is uh, there is a lot of madoido there but at the end of the time you bring the gun pointing up, the gun pointing up, showing that uh, you have, it is called present arms. 
you are presented to that person. It's like you're giving that person. It's like you're telling that the person that the gun is at your disposal. And then you return it to your shoulder. Those are gun salute. Then we have um, the shooting. You'll find that somebody of a lower rank, starting from recruit all the way to, I think, below, uh, up to the colonel, there is a shooting of bullets in the air. Shooting of the bullets in the air, uh, where a sergeant major tells Ascaris, shoot, you've, uh, shoot. you shoot. It, it happens all the time. That is using rifles. Uh, and then from the rank of brigadier and upwards, uh, there is a cannon that is shot up in the air. Now, this, since uh, General Ogola was uh, far above the the brigade, uh, the, uh, above, uh, he was a general, but the highest general below field marshal, he will get a cannon. Uh, 20, 19, 19, uh, 19 uh, can, cannons will be shot. Why 19? You see, countries have democracies. Countries have democracies such that instead of a king, we have a president. And uh, instead of uh, a pri prince or princess, we have ministers and generals. Long ago, when uh, they were referring to the to the to the to the male member male you see those are before we had um, what we have the female uh, equation whatever before that uh, men used to be taken to be more important than women such that uh, anything happened to the king or prince or such a thing they used to get 21 gun salute and then two Anything happening to a queen and princess and whatever, they were given 19. It was said that uh, 19 is an odd number. They are not given any, uh, they are not given uh, even number. So the king was given 21 gun salute and the the king and prince and the queen and princess were given 19 to show that by then it, women used to be considered less than men that is why the women would be given 19 uh, that was during major celebrations birthday funeral uh, weddings and even the day the person is born now we have, if we follow the, what it used to happen then, is that uh, if the prince, the king, uh, King Charles, or even the princess, if they are having kids, uh, people wait near the maternity. They wait near the maternity, and then it is those gun salutes. It is those uh, gun salute that will declare if the king or the prince has given birth to a boy or a girl. So if it is a boy, the boy would be given 21 gun salute. And if it is a girl, it would be given 19 gun salute. But then when democracies came, and democracies came in different forms, countries like Kenya and whatever, we don't have a monarch, so the president is uh, treated as a king, and the president gets 21, salute, 21 gun salute. Even a visiting head of state or he, he, visiting head of government is given 21 gun salute because in a way or so, that person is a king. Now, the second level after king is 19 gun salute. So you find that a visiting deputy head of state or the DP, whatever, such second level of government, if that person visits and goes to state house, he is given 19 gun salute. So towards uh, uh, the commander in chief is considered the king, and uh, the, 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 the general, I'm not just talking of uh, Ogola, but I'm even talking of a brigadier and above, they are given 19 gun salute. And it goes on that way and that way, a serving recruit 
uh, is given uh, the rifle salute. It is uh, now they use uh, blanks because why waste uh, live bullets on a ceremony? It so happens also that uh, Ogola has died in office, but all the CGS. We used to have a CDF, then we had CGS, then it was reverted to C CDF. You'll find that uh, apart from Dolo, uh, Dolo and Mulinge, all others are alive. So when, when they die, because of, of course they'll die. Of course Mahmoud will die. Of course Tonje will die. Of course, all of them up to Kianga and Kiboshi, they will die one day. When they die, number one board, number one board, which is uh, uh, NSAC, will sit down and determine. Of course, uh, <laughs> when you start, you start for all of them. I don't think that any, ex, any, any retired general, when he dies, he will be denied that. No. I think all of them will get 19 gun salute. Now you know. Any other form, comment? And if you have any other question you can ask, then I can, uh, not only me, but we have even subscribers who know more than what I know. We can always share that and know uh, and, uh, and find out uh, more about the gun salute. Thank you.